I'm originally from Groveport. I grew up right down Lithopolis Road, so not too far from, from Lancaster. Uh, I'm familiar with the, the youth programs and the, and the programs in general just because uh, I have some relatives in the district, so I do spend a little bit of time up here, the baseball fields and the football fields. Uh, so I do know sort of the makeup, and, and like I said, this Lancaster has always been down the road, so I, I do know, you know, of Lancaster, I know the people here, I know the type of people, and I know it's a hard, you know, working blue collar mentality, and when the opportunity was presented to get back home and relocate, it, it was one that, you know, my ultimate goal from a coach is to be a Hall of Fame coach. You know, I want to coach a state championship team. I want, to, I want my team to win a state title. And whether it was Division Three or Division One, it was irrelevant. I want, to, I want to be a very successful coach. And I looked at the opportunity at Lancaster with the makeup of the kids, the, the staff that's in place, the support of the administrators. It was one that I see a huge potential here. And so when the opportunity to get home, the opportunity to be the head coach of a program that is not just on the rise, but that's ready to make some serious noise, not just in Central Ohio, but in all of Ohio, um, I, I couldn't pass on this opportunity. When I was in high school, really, you had uh, you know, John Spires uh, was a wrestler. We used to kind of wrestle with each other a little bit, so we, we kind of knew each other, but both him and I came from programs that, you know, they had a few good wrestlers, but they weren't really established programs, and we were kind of the, I guess, the class act of the program. And, you know, in, in years past, you know, we've been able to, you know, since Coach Spires was the head coach, we've actually met up head to head in some competitions, and I've seen the changes that have started to occur over the past, you know, seven or eight years um, that have been positive. And, you know, a couple years ago, my nephew got into the youth program, and, you know, I heard how many kids were in the youth program, and, and you know, my, my parents really, really liked the head youth coach. And so it started to pay a little bit of attention. And actually last year at the junior high state tournament, um, you had a kid named Jimmy Thompson who actually pinned basically my best junior high kid. And so it just made me sort of looking like, wow, Lancaster's really got something going on because they've got it established at the youth level, they got it at, established at the junior highs, and the fact that the high school is starting to have success, it's one of those things where you, you, it's not hard to find, do a little research and find that Lancaster's got it going on right now. For me, it's about getting to know every kid in the program. And obviously being Lancaster, a bigger district, you know, if there's 200 kids in our program, I expect to know all 200. I expect for them to know, you know, one day they're going to be wrestling for me. You know, I want kids walking around wearing their Lancaster wrestling shirts with pride and, you know, being proud. I mean, because a lot of people, you know, wrestling's a tough sport and people take pride in wearing a wrestling shirt. Even if you don't wrestle, it's kind of cool to wear a wrestling shirt. And so it's uh, one of those things where I want kids to take pride in the sport. I want them to take pride in the program and I want to showcase their achievements and get to know them, like I said, K through 12, to where there's no doubt here in a few years, they're gonna know who they're wrestling for in terms of that continuous you know, stability of having kids constantly stay with the program and not having that constant turnover. Like I said, we're gonna make sure they love the sport.